ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮವು ವಿಶ್ವವಿದ್ಯಾನಿಲಯದಲ್ಲಿ ನಡೆಸಲಾಗುತ್ತದೆ Good afternoon. Myself, Dr. Himlata MS, Chairperson, Department of Food Science and Nutrition. So, welcome to the induction program of uh, MSc Food and Nutrition Science course. So, uh, we are running this uh, Food and Nutrition Science MSc PG program from uh, last year, from 21-22. And uh, here I am for this induction program for January cycle. So, we have uh, three staffs in our uh, department. Myself, uh, uh, and then uh, Dr. Anita C. and Dr. Krishnaraj, Ashton Professors. So we will be helping you out uh, in the course to be run at this uh, KSOU. Uh, regarding the uh, contact program and other things, apart from we in our house teachers, we also have external teachers. We will be calling them for practical classes and also sometimes for theory classes. So coming to your uh, course, this is for uh, two years and you have uh, four semesters as you all know. And uh, you have two hardcore papers or uh, discipline specific core papers which are compulsory. And uh, you have two electives uh, which you need to select. So you already know for in four uh, in uh, four optionals you would have selected two in each semester. So this food science and nutrition is a uh, general uh, subject compared to clinical nutrition dietetics where you are not uh, very much specific to hospital setup or a diet therapy. But here you can you have option for in other fields also like industry and uh, hospital both. And also as some nutritional counselor in terms of sports nutrition or uh, uh, any other uh, uh, reco uh, re recovery uh, cases or etc. So uh, keeping that in point, uh, the syllabus has been framed in such a way that you get enough knowledge with uh, where you can be dealt in all the places. So as such in the compulsory papers, there is no choice. So we have seen that basics papers go to the compulsory paper. And in electives, we, we have uh, made it like it is application papers be taught there. Like uh, for example, research methods, applied physiology, food laws and standards, functional properties of foods and storage and handling of uh, foods, etc. And in the final year, you have a uh, dissertation or you can opt for the paper also. So either you can write two papers or opt one dissertation and you can finish up your study. Apart from that, there are open electives. So you, uh, as you all know, you can't select an open elective from your own subject. You would have selected from a different subject. So uh, we, are, uh, we, have, we have already formed the WhatsApp group and all the information is being provided in the WhatsApp group. So anything regarding to the contact program and uh, internal assignment or examination will be intimated there. And if you have any queries also, you can come to us. Uh, coming to the uh, your marks breakup. You have 80 marks to be written in the theory and then 20 marks for the internal assignment. So 80 marks will be purely theory exam which will be writing and the question paper pattern also we, it is already available in the website. We will also be forwarding it in the WhatsApp group. And then 20 marks internal assignment, internal assignment question is there in the website. You can take it and both the questions are compulsory. Each question carries 10 marks. So you, you have to write both the questions for 20 marks. So that is your breakup for Theory examination 80 plus 20. Then you have, have uh, practical examination A, B that is 50, 50 marks. 40 marks will be your practical examination. For this practical examination, we will be conducting practical classes and that it is exclusively at MISO because the st strength is not very high. So we will not be conducting anywhere outside. You will have to come down to MISO for 18 days and you have to finish up your practical classes and followed by that immediately we will be doing with the practical examination. The reason is we don't want you to go back and get back to us just for the practical examination. So at a one stretch if you finish it, so it is easier for you to go back to your place and write theory examination from your place itself. So for theory examination, you need not be coming to MISO. So that's the reason we uh, conduct the practical classes at a stretch and immediately after that you will be having your practical examination. So that completes your practical course in that you have 40 marks for I are doing the practical examination and 10 marks is exclusively for your practical record. That is for practical A and again for practical B, it is 40 marks for your uh, practical examination and 10 marks for your uh, record. So this completes the practical aspect of uh, your study in each semester and theory as I said it is 80 to 20. 
so come uh, for you as uh, it is a general paper of food science and nutrition we have seen that the syllabus covers both in food science as well as nutrition so you will be having food preservation product development etc and also uh, relevant to nutrition you will be having community nutrition advanced nutrition and also to dietetics to certain extent so this is your uh, core of study so any queries any questions you you have you are always welcome to contact us you can uh, either uh, call us also our phone numbers are available at the website and uh, as you all know you are already there in the whatsapp group so either you can put a personal message to us or you also can ask a you can ask any queries in the whatsapp group what we suggest any document which you take it from the university please don't lose any of them either you are fees paid chalan or uh, any other uh, slm study material etc whatever you download the time tables etc keep everything until you complete the course and then if you have any queries you can always get back to us and another humble uh, request you please be in track with the website whatever message we give in the whatsapp group or not you please keep tracking both with, uh, website as well as the whatsapp group so any information suppose there is an examination time table or any other regarding contact program any circular has been sent or anything about the internal assignment please see that you save it uh, simultaneously along with you so that it will work as a ready reckoner for you whenever it is needed where many a times we find students in a pathetic condition that they will not be knowing which is the examination what is the internal assignment they have to uh, write and where they have to submit so these are the few queries which regularly the students will have so in order to have this so uh, not to make yourself confused so please save those important circulars relevant to that if you have downloaded from the website or if it is posted in the whatsapp group separately so that you can act accordingly just joining to the course and thinking that everything comes to your table is a biggest mistake so please be in track because we have students above 100 it becomes difficult for us to keep in touch with each and everyone so it will be nice if you keep the track of all these things and if you have any queries we are always happy to convey it to you and we will be giving you the messages and other things any other uh, uh, if you if you are not able to send message to us you can always call us and ask so this is about this uh, one as you all know next month you need to be coming here for the practical classes so you'll have to come back, come here for your practical classes and also complete your practical examination welcome once again and hope you are uh, staying in the for two years will be fruitful and helpful to you in gaining the knowledge in food and nutrition sciences thank you video mulaka 